all right guys welcome back and in this video what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys how to add songs to your database because right now we just have a couple albums in there and we know how to add those already but we didn't have any songs and more importantly whenever we add a song it has to be associated with an album so how do we work out that association well before we do what i would like to do is create a string representation of a song so just like before we did it with album and now we are going to do it with song so whenever we need to represent a song all i'm going to do is print out the song title i think that'll be all right all right now another thing i want to do before i start getting into actually adding these items to the database is i want to make sure that we can work with it in our admin panel because right now we can only see albums so if i go here and we import song then we can also register song and that way whenever we start adding songs we can actually manage them through the admin panel in Django looking good now another thing I want to point out is if you guys are like oh wait a minute you actually need to do the migrations thing because yep you updated the model and now you need to sync it with the database well, the reason that we don't need to do those migrations is because whenever I say you need to sync it with the database, that's only if you're adding or deleting attributes because these represent columns in your tables. Whenever we just made this little change, we aren't actually adding or deleting any columns from the table. It would only be if you did something like um, song length because this would actually change the structure of your table. Whenever you are just representing this class, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change your database structure at all. So no migrations needed. Pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead back in our admin panel. And we can see that we now have another section albums that we had before. We still have two in it. Taylor Swift's album in Skate Park by Myth. And we also have this songs table. And right now, look at that. We have zero songs. So let's go ahead and change that right now. So open up your terminal and let me expand that so you guys can see. And we need to enter that Django database API shell. So python manage.py shell. Now remember, just like before, what we need to do is we need to import music.models album and also song. So we imported those models and there are actually a couple different ways that you can add songs. Now, before we do, what we actually want to do is we need to get a reference to an album because if we look at our models, each song has an attribute that points to an album. So let's go ahead and get a reference to that Taylor Swift album and then we'll start adding some of her songs. So if you guys remember how to do that, just go ahead and make a variable and I'll just name it album one. You can name it Taylor Swift's album, whatever you want to do. And album objects, if you just write all, it's going to give you all the albums. But what we want to do is we just want to get the album with the primary key of one. So now as we can verify album one, uh, what did I put? I'll just put artist. All right. So we know that this is the right album because the artist is Taylor Swift. So now what we can do is we can actually start making a song object. So right now we made a blank song object. So let's go ahead and start adding all those attributes. So we need to give it an album attribute, a file type, and a song title. Now, usually you wouldn't even have file type in here because whatever file the user uploaded, you would just extract it from that, but you know, I was bored, so thought I might as well put it in. All right, so first of all, the album for this is equal to album one, this object right here. All right, now what else did we need? File type, and we'll just pretend that this is equal to an MP3, and song title, uh, I hate my boyfriend and the last thing we need to do is song save 
So right now we just set all of the attributes that we needed to do. And the last thing is whenever we call the save function on this object, it actually saves it to the database. So check this out. I'm gonna go back in my admin panel. I'm gonna hit refresh. And we now see that we have a song in there. So if we click it for more details, the album is this right here, Taylor Swift's file type MP3 and song title, I Hate My Boyfriend. Now, just like before, if we ever need to change anything, like maybe she got back together with her boyfriend, we could change it to, I love my boyfriend. And just save it again. And boom, roasted, look at that. So now let me go back to all my songs. And all right, so that was one way that we could add a song.